Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great. So today's reading is for Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines who are in Twin Soul or Divine Soulmate Connections. And I actually started doing this reading, pulled out the first few cards, and then I realized that the camera was not recording. And I am very glad that I caught that early on. Um, I really did not want to start this over because I really feel like the messages that came through are the ones that were meant to come through and they were just so in line with what I was picking up on before even starting this reading. And actually I do even feel that they are related to the lunar eclipse that we had recently um, and that this is like an after effect, like of, of that effect actually just really playing out right now. So um, the first card that we got for the masculine was um, Broken Heart and we also got the Temple Path. So. What came through with this is that this is the masculines undergoing a lot of pain, all right? Really experiencing a lot of uncomfortable pain at the moment. And this is actually um, a result of, of their own actions, all right? And it's not punishment. It's not punishment, although I also get that it is... It's like the masculines are now going through what the, what the feminines had actually gone through pain-wise and uncertainty-wise, but it's not punishment. It's more like a balance, like a karmic balance in order for there to be this equilibrium between the masculine and the feminine energies so that they can align to this, to this higher path. All right, and it's this pain that the masculine now is experiencing that is actually leading him or her to their higher path. All right, so that was the one message there. Then for the feminines, we got um, the third chakra, Archangel Camuel. I tend to just stick to the chakra, but you can take this however, however it resonates with you. So this is all about power. This is all about control. So I don't want to say too much about this just yet. I'm just going to leave it here and get back to that once we get into the feminine's energy. Um, but I did want to pull it out in the beginning just to have it for comparison reasons. So getting into the tarot. For the first row here, which is where I got up to, we got the Knight of Wands, the Tower in Reverse, and the Queen of Swords. So this is a lot of frustration and aggravation in addition to the pain. And it's like feeling frustrated, feeling aggravated with their own self that they're feeling this pain because they find themselves still in this same situation, not having allowed the tower to fall, having resisted this tower. So what does that mean? Um, this is all about bringing about a change. This is all about um, destroying you know, old belief systems, for example, or anything in their lives that is serving as a barrier to them moving on to that temple path. Whatever is a barrier for them finding their happiness, all right? That's what, what the tower would be. And that is what needs to come down. And this is them having resisted it. But what I do like here in this combination is that we have the Queen of Swords right after that. So this means that there's a lot of clarity on this. This is the masculine actually being aggravated, being frustrated with their own self because they have clarity over the fact that they have not let this tower fall. And because of that, because of these actions in the past, the Knight of Wands, because of their own actions, they're now feeling that pain. They're, they're still in this situation where the tower is still there and it's just making them very, very uncomfortable. So, let's see. Let's see what else we get. masculines when it comes to their feminine. All right, the seven of swords in reverse, the six of cups in reverse, and the eight of wands. So they're all in reverse here. So this is what's going on in their headspace. This is what is um, what they're thinking. There's this sense of 
nostalgia. Thinking about the past and not wanting to repeat the past in the way that things happened. This is this clarity of how things have played out. This is them really understanding how the situation that they find themselves in now is so directly related to choices that they have made. Now, that does not mean that it wasn't meant to happen that way, all right? It's not that, you know, that um, there were mistakes, even though, you know, it may seem like there were mistakes. Things played out for a certain reason. There, and even if that reason was that the masculine just had not resolved certain karma, for example, that the masculine had not um, awakened, or, you know, that there were certain lessons that still needed to be learned, and that's why mistakes, in quotation marks, are made, in order to reach that point of understanding that, hey, look, you know, when I do this, this is the consequence. All right, so how do I do something differently now? So I feel like that is what this clarity is. That is why that broken heart is leading to the temple path. And this seven of swords being in reverse and the eight of wands being in reverse, actually, and the six of cups being in reverse, all of this together is saying that they don't want to go back to being deceitful. They don't want to go back to escapism. They don't want that Seven of Swords. They don't want to take those actions that led them to where they are now. Something has to change. And there's this nostalgia of how things possibly were if you were romantically together, for those of you who were. And then there's also this, this you know, remembering the past and, and even the negatives. How certain things, you know, just weren't either in alignment or they just didn't feel right when it comes to certain actions. And this doesn't mean that the feminines also haven't made mistakes, okay? So I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to diss the masculines. Everything happens for a reason and, you know, if we're not ready for something and we're still, we still need to work on something, well, things are just not going to align and that's how we learn. We learn what doesn't work so that we can then find out what does work. So let's see, let's get one more row. So let's take a look into their emotional space or just any other message that wants to come through for the masculines and then we'll move on to the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up. We have the world, which may or may not have been in reverse, it was a bit sideways, the Four of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Let me just move them over so you can get a better view. Alright, so emotionally they're feeling very, very um, mature, okay, with the world, and I just realized we have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck here. So with the world, Card, and then the Four of Swords. This is them feeling like something has been completed emotionally, on an emotional level, and I really feel like that is releasing denial, having learned lessons. It's like, I love this, this image, by the way. It's showing all the, all the zodiac signs, and it's like having completed like all these stages. And this is how they're feeling, like something has matured in the situation. You know, like level completed, having healed, ready for my wish fulfillment. So what I'm, overall what I'm getting with this is that there's this sense of a completion when it comes to healing certain aspects of themselves in order to have what it is that they truly want. And not only that, but knowing, not denying what they truly want, knowing what, what it is and being confident in that, not having to doubt it, not having to deny it, not, not having ego get so much in the way. All right. So 
So for the feminines, um, with this third chakra, okay, because I feel like I have a couple of messages coming through with this. Okay, so number one for some of you, it could be that, you know, you are totally feeling like you are in your power and that you are feeling very, very confident within yourself, able to, you know, go about your life, move on, achieve your goals, and all of that good stuff, right? Feeling really good. Now, the other message that I'm getting for some of you, this has to do with it has to do with releasing control and possibly feeling, um, okay, a little bit overconfident concerning how much control you have released or, or even just, you know, forcing yourself to release control because you feel like that's what you should do. So again, just take what resonates, all right? And maybe you've been through a phase like this. Maybe you never have to. <clears throat> you know, everybody is different. This is just a message that I'm getting, and I feel like it's going to be for a specific group of you. But what I'm getting is that forcing yourself to move on is also a form of control. Okay? Um, because you're, you're trying to move on, if, if that's the case, you're trying to move on in order to um, release control, but when you're not really feeling it. So again, it's like trying to control the situation because you feel like that's what you should do. So I hope that makes sense because um, I know it sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but the message here is, okay, so how do you release control then if you don't try to release control? So the message is accept how you feel even if what you feel is that you can't move on. So just accept that. Accept that you can't move on. Just sit with it for a while. It's okay. It's not going to hold you back, I promise. All right, that's, that's a step to releasing control because you're not trying to control your feelings. So don't try to not control. Don't try to get over the masculine. Don't try to distract yourself because that's just going to be suppression. Don't try to convince yourself that you're okay without the Divine Masculine, if that's not the case, because otherwise it's resistance, which is what the Divine Masculine has been doing, which led them to this consequence, right? Resisting that tower. So again, it would be another form of resistance. And actually, that would be the first step to releasing control, as counterintuitive as it might sound. It's just acceptance. This is how I feel. End of story. I'm not going to try to distract myself. But I am still, you know, understanding that I am me and I am powerful and I am who I am independently of the masculine. All right. So that's just just for some of you. So let's see what else we get for the feminines. Actually, let me just move these over to have some space. The sun, the four of cups, give me one sec. And the six of wands. All right, so, Femis. For the most part, I feel like you really are moving in the right direction here, okay? You are finding your power. Even, even those of you that might feel like, you know, you are a little bit overconfident, um, even if you don't feel that, but maybe for some of you it might be the case. And when I say overconfident, that's what I mean is what I was explaining before of 
just really trying really hard to have this victory, really trying really hard to have this happiness. You don't have to try so hard. This is, it's like this is coming through again. I do feel like you're on the right path, but I'm also getting here again with this Four of Cups being right smack in the middle that there might still be some disappointment that your ego might be trying to cover up in order for you to find this happiness and to find this fulfillment. It's okay to allow yourself to feel that disappointment and you might feel like, you know what, well, I've already been through that and you know, I thought I was over it and, you know, and you just, sometimes we just don't want to have to feel that again. But if it's still there, it's not going to go away unless we actually face it. It's kind of like you, you can't bypass it. Um, because that's how we heal. You have to go through the phase sometimes of even, you know, of believing that this is completely over and allowing yourself to feel what that feels like. Allowing yourself to believe that you might you might never be together. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Allowing yourself to believe that if that's what you're being called to, okay? Just, again, take what resonates. But in order to be okay with that, which would mean that you have found your, your inner union, you first have to face and heal that pain. And I don't feel like it is, for, for most of you, I feel like it's not, uh, that pain is not as strong anymore. It's, it's stronger for the masculine right now. Because as I said, you know, they're going through the pain that you once went through. Right now, it might just be some disappointment. But you're just feeling like, oh, I'm so over it, you know, um, I don't even want to deal with it. And that's completely understandable. But I feel like the message here is, yeah, you still have to deal with that little bit of disappointment that's left. Just, um, it's just a matter of accepting it. That's all it is. Let's get one more row, and then we'll move into what is coming up. Okay, so we have the Emperor in reverse and the Page of Wands. I'm not even gonna get any more because it's just the same message over and over. Yeah, the emperor in reverse. This is, again, it's all about releasing that control. It's all about accepting that, you know, the masculine might be this emperor in reverse. The masculine might not stand in their power, you know, and that's okay. That's okay. You know, life, life goes on. You can still have enthusiasm and find enthusiasm for your life, all right? Just as long as you're not denying anything of how you feel. And I know I feel like I've been saying this for like, I don't know how many weeks now, but this message keeps coming through and there must be a reason, okay? And if it's if it's not for all of you, that's okay, even if it's just for a few of you. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's it for the feminines. Let's um let's see what is coming up here. So for the next couple of weeks, what is coming up for the masculines? for the next week or so. All right, we have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. That's, that's some more pain here with that Five of Cups. That's also pain concerning the past, which is what I've been talking about, right, throughout this reading. Um, this, it's them feeling this loss, feeling the grief, feeling very sad in the way that their situation is. So I feel like that energy is continuing on, on a little bit. Again, it, it, the Five of Cups is also related to the past. Um, so this is definitely also related to thinking about their Divine Feminine. But it's this that is opening up the door. It's this pain. That is the main message here. That was the very first message as well with the Oracle cards. All right. It's this pain that is leading to this new, new path opening up, even in the 3D, in order for there to be action. So... 
I do feel like with this Knight of Swords that this is this is some action coming up in the next week or so. Okay, so this might be action that you might be able to notice, you might be able to um, see it. It might even be communication, okay, because it's the Knight of Swords. For a lot of you, if you have not been in communication, and then for others of you, this is just them beginning to take some action. Or going back to some action because also the masculine does have this tendency to take action and then go back on it and then take action and then kind of, you know, retract and go back um, a couple of steps and then move forward again. So this is them coming out of this pain, frustration, aggravation, and seeing the potential for a new path, all right, which is that temple path their higher path in alignment with their own self. And that's going to require action. And it's going to require action that is going to be different from the past. So it might still be a little bit um, shaky, possibly a little bit impulsive, but, but that's okay. So um, yeah, I'm actually gonna keep it short for this week. Next week, I'll be back with a reading for those of you involved in karmic situations or third party situations. So I'm just gonna close this reading out by getting one or two Oracle cards. So yeah, I know it was a shorter reading, but I actually feel like, like a lot of strong messages came through. So we have your dreams need a practical plan. I feel like that is for the masculine here and because this sits very well with this Ace of Pentacles. This is them, yeah, definitely realizing after this sadness that they actually need to have a practical plan in order to move forward. And that is the action that they're planning on taking. It has to be, it has to be practical. It can't just be in thought. It can't just be in the mind. So let me get one more for the feminines. And it has to be practical in the sense that it has to be different than before because whatever it was that they were doing before, it didn't work. So apparently it was not, it was not all that practical. So for the feminines, final message please. And we have you are good enough, which is the full moon in Virgo. Yes, feminine, you are good enough. You are good enough to be on your own, to be independent, to be self-sufficient, to go after your, your dreams, all right? This goes very well with the solar plexus chakra here. You can achieve your goals. You can achieve that happiness regardless. And because I didn't mention um, the moon phase in this card, it is the full moon in Taurus, all right? The card for the masculine. So I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you all for your likes, your comments, um, donations. Those of you who have donated recently, all the tips for the personal readings, the personal readings themselves. And yeah, I will see you guys soon and much love.